Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever back in the Alps. Uh, in the last episode, I, well, I, I spoke at length about uh, a great many things uh, while the game was running in the background uh, in order to earn some slush fundage. Uh, I have uh, forwarded the game now. It's 1972. Uh, time has marched on uh, in quite a radical fashion. And uh, as much as I'm really itching to show you the balance sheet for the game right now, I have set up this rather magnificent opening shot, which I think I owe it to uh, to all of you and myself to uh, to complete before I uh, I crack on with uh, the main body of the show. Uh, so if you'll you'll bear with me for a moment here, I mean you can see what's coming. Uh, we're we're just going to have to wait while it gently makes its way down the mountainside because it will be worth our time to do so. And here it comes. One magnificent uh, Russian electric locomotive with uh, with actually quite a lot of coal on board. Uh, it's got a capacity of 360, this one, um, but it's carrying a little short of that, 242, I think it was, when I looked at it. And if I remembered that exactly right, that would be somewhat miraculous. 242 of 360, look, yeah, I see I'm, you know, somewhat proficient on an occasional basis. Uh, let's have a look at the balance sheet. So here we go. Um, uh, this was the year that you sat and watched. 69, I believe, was the year that it uh, rolled in the background. Uh, and as you can see, we are uh, we are cash positive throughout. Uh, this year, particularly, uh, is looking jolly promising already. I've paid the loan down. Uh, we've still got 36 million owed to the bank, but, you know, they know I'm good for it. Um, uh, but as we turn our attention in this direction, you'll see a rather phenomenal amount of cargo that is, is waiting to be uh, shifted around. Uh, one of the suggestions that I wanted to get stuck into was uh, was doubling up uh, the number of coal services, which is why I started on that route uh, there. But uh, I've got I've got a couple of a couple of burning ideas that I that I want to uh, to get rolling with. Uh, next, now doubling up the train route is the first. Uh, so what I would do is I'd make two slightly shorter, uh, slightly faster trains in order to uh, to propel us coal into the system a little faster because that will generate more steel, more slag, more construction materials, you know, the works. This will uh, this will really energize that side of the business. Uh, equally, it's not that I'm short on goods. I mean, they're all paying off rather nicely. Uh, you know, everybody's got jobs to be done. I've recently upgraded the shipping a little. So Bellinzona, if we head out this way, uh, towards Bellinzona, it's, it's eluded me, it's run away. Uh, where are you there, big fella? Yeah, I hired a big fella to come and do uh, some uh, some Bellinzona-esque shipment uh, because there's plenty of demand going on uh, up in here. Uh, but uh, you know, we've got to we've got to keep uh, keep the supplies going. Uh, and I added a third ship onto the uh, the route that's heading out to to Interlaken, or is it Thun? I'm pretty sure it's Interlaken. I'm pretty sure I've turned the town names off. That would be a bit of a bit of a mistake, wouldn't it? Uh, there we go. Yeah, Interlaken, uh, where we do our uh, our foundry activities. So we're packing uh, 400 of your tools and then another further 23 machines in this ship that's heading back in that direction. Incoming now, uh, 44 steel, 51 uh, planks. Uh, but there's a whole a whole heck of a lot ready to take back already. And uh, you don't actually need more than a couple of hundred on one of these chaps in order to make a, a, a tidy profit on this route. So uh, so that's all good. Um, yeah, basically we're talking capacity uh, as uh, as a secondary objective and, and making sure that we can shuffle this stuff around much better. If we look over to the food supply here, we've got 374 waiting. Uh, what do you got? Oh, you've got like 500... Uh, ability to, to transport but on the oil route there's over a thousand oil uh, waiting to be uh, to be picked up and carted away and the big boy is currently hauling 400 at a time so uh, so there's there's upscaling on several different fronts uh, that we can afford to do I mean, look at all this food just just kind of kicking around waiting to be picked up and then we've got fuel down here. So, uh, and it's not even a demand issue. Demand is fine. We just need to move it around a little better. So that's the second project. Uh, <clears throat> the first, coal, yes. Second is uh, moving stuff around a little bit more fluidly. The third is uh, 
Let's get the cargo airport running. Yeah, that one's got you interested, hasn't it? Uh, and then the fourth is, uh, if we look at the, uh, the Routertron here, and uh, basically, the, 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 what I was thinking is I'll, I'll tackle everything that is currently unprofitable and, uh, and make it profitable. Yeah, or collapse it entirely. Because uh, we've got several here that we're carrying. As much as we've got, you know, the the oil refining train is, is printing money like nobody's business because it's carrying it in both directions. Uh, the, the food production, despite carrying more uh, on a regular basis, is actually making less. I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. Intercity, now that it's been freed up, is now printing cash nicely. We've got a few more passenger services printing money nicely. Uh, hub steel materials and tools will gradually pick up the amount that it's earning now that I've added an additional ship. Uh, the hub shuttle is making good money. So we're, we're able to offset uh, the red routes, but I do have more red routes than I'd like, uh, and I'd like to confront that at some point. So if you stick around until after the intro, uh, let's find you something pleasant to look at while the intro's doing its thing. How do you feel about trucks? I feel good about trucks, so, so, so you should. Uh, then uh, we'll uh, we'll explore what uh, what mission we shall undertake first. Right then, in the small amount of time that the intro was running, I have made an executive decision vis-a-vis -vis what we're going to build, and it's going to be the uh, the second freight airport uh, because, uh, well, frankly, you know, I haven't done nearly enough with uh, with planes yet. Um, and, uh, and I also, uh, fifth idea, is uh, I want to upgrade my, uh, my passenger routes soonish. Oh, and a sixth idea, I want to get the heritage line set up. There's probably more ideas in there as well. And as you can tell, I, 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 you know, we've, we've got legs in this series still to play with. Uh, it's simply going to be a case of uh, when the game starts to, uh, starts to struggle for frame rate, uh, we'll move on. But right now, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's Colonel Kamet by this big boy while we're on our way to our destination. So yes, we're going to set up the, uh, the goods, uh, airport, um, uh, and it's going to be down at the other end of the river. I do not want to be hauling goods up through the mountains. If I can avoid having to carve, uh, the mountainside again, I will do. This is, this is really the only way to, to travel camera-wise. As we hop over the uh, th through the middle of the bridge. Oh, look at this! Uh, another new arrival. Okay, yeah, okay. So I, I may have added uh, one or two upgrades to the uh, uh, the passenger services while uh, while you weren't looking. Um, but there we go. We got uh, we, we got this 101 in uh, in transit uh, doing the Interlaken Thun route. I think I've got two trains on that route. Let's have a, let's have a quick look. Vehicles. Yeah, two of them. Um, and they're, they're ticking along quite nicely. I'm pretty sure I haven't done anything else. It was just because the, uh, the train in question was really rather old, uh, so I felt it was, it was prudent to, uh, to move it around. <laughs> the, uh, the screenshots they make themselves. Uh, right, enough of this. Uh, let us look for a location. So uh, we're going to be setting off from uh, the Hub Central, uh, which is the busiest place on the map. Uh, and then we want to head out to uh, to beyond where the long arm of the network currently reaches, and uh, we're going to stay in the uh, uh, in the river valley, uh, such as it's a valley. It's not really a valley in the Alps, is it? There's there's probably something more highfalutin we could call that. Uh, but I'm I'm feeling maybe a bit of Luzerne. Uh, maybe some stands. Now stands I had a look at uh, not so long ago because. Uh, currently has no connections and uh, and it also it has a, a nice central location so you've got Luzerne just over there but you've also got the uh, the the Wolfenschießen uh, maneuver uh, as it's uh, as it's known in Star Trek terms um, then you've got uh, Engelberg up there in the mountains are you carrying anything you're carrying food. It's, you know, stuff's still working. Uh, but as we look the other way, you've got Sarnen and Briennes. So uh, stands could become uh, quite, the, uh, quite the hive of activity if I were to turn my hand to it. Uh, and I should do that in the future. But if we're going to make this a, a transport hub of some kind, or at least, a, it, I mean, I'm thinking passenger hub more than anything else, then maybe an airport 
uh, is, is not a bad shout, although we'll be going cargo airport here. Uh, and I imagine there will be some reshaping of the, the worlds that needs to take place. Uh, but the, everything starts with the, uh, the, first, the first exciting moment, which is going to be a medium freight airport, which hopefully, given that this is already relatively flat, we can, uh, we can sink in without it uh, torpedoing my bank balance. Uh, right, about here would be nice. Now, obviously, we've got we've got a collision going on. Ooh, what about right along the riverside? Now, I'll have to reshape the roads, but uh, but that could make for quite the uh, quite the pleasing approach. So if I don't, if I plunk that in there, I mean I've got nothing so uh, so important that I can't I can't remove it, and I am willing to sink you know a, a couple of million into the the creation of this beast. The only downside to that is if I do want to do something luxurious with trains, it's going to get in the way of that. Uh, what would be nice was if I could build some kind of artificial structure and have this elevated over the river. But I can't, so we won't. Um, where are we going to where are we going to put this? I don't want it so far removed that it creates tremendous levels of drama for uh, uh, for, for local transit. No, okay, no, look, you know what? We're going to do this, and then uh, the chips will fall where they may, and uh, and we will respond uh, how we, however is necessary. So let's uh, let's just clear ourselves out a nice big, uh, a nice big tract of land. Uh, where's this around? I know, I suddenly, I suddenly became taken with the notion of having it riverside. Now that does place the uh, the road there at quite the uh, quite the distance from our existing area, but I like the fact it's building the banks up as well. That could be fun. And I did say a couple of million. There we go. It's done. We've bought it. That's now paid for. All right. Well, uh, terrific. That's you know that's uh, that's an airport. Uh, right. Let's bang in some roads. Hello there. Roads that I don't touch and I really should. Uh, what have we got? Parking lots on both sides of the street. I like it. Um, right, let's get... Do, do, we are we going to need passenger transport? No, we're not, but we are going to need trucks. So, uh, I don't think a bike lane is really advisable, is it? Um, let's start by doing a bit of that and see what it looks like. It looks like a bit of road with some, uh, some novelty... Uh, Oh, it's got it's got parking uh, thingamajiggles. Ah, brilliant. Uh, no, I don't think that's appropriate. What about this? Uh, that's just a big red square. You can't have that. Uh, what if I have to do it like this? Oh, we can have some fun with that later on, but not now. Let's keep going. Bus bay, yeah. Loading bay. Now, I don't know if this has got function or not. I imagine not. I think this is this is purely decorative in nature. Uh, so what we'll do is if we uh, if we head out like that, the question is, am I going to want some train action in here as well? Can't rule it out. All right, let's line that up. Uh, to be honest, I've got I've got enough of a challenge as far as trains are concerned already. I'm loving uh, a completely parallel bit of road there. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay, let's have another crack at that, shall we? Uh, and this time, look we'll look at what we're doing a little more studiously. Right, loading bay. Let's, I tell you what, let's loading bay out of one side. Do you feel about, do you feel like going parallel there? It's, that's not, uh, no, that's not good. All right, let's, no. To be honest, I think the trees are a little bit out of place as well. That's better. That's not. That's better. Right, and then we'll get our uh, our magic wand out and we'll replace these with that. Okay, I could have just done that the first time, of course. It was the same money, but, uh, you know, deals. Uh, right, now then, we need uh, cargo destinations. 
Now, I think I've got some new ones here. Or have I? Uh, maybe not. Now, I like this one. This is one of my, it's one of my favourites. This one, I love this. Uh, this is terrific for, for drop-off only. Uh, but as I'm, I'm sure you're aware already, I, most of my uh, existing routes uh, are, uh, are both pick-up and drop-off. Uh, who is a, uh, a famous uh, Russian cosmonaut. Get it? Pick up and drop off. See? See? Yeah? Yeah, you with me? Thought you were. So we could we could have we could have this as I, I'm tempted to go with two different truck routes here, you know. So we could have one that kind of heads out there. I want to drop off at the docks because you never know that might uh, that might lead to two way cargo flow on this this chap who's currently on his way in. We need to deliver to stands. Uh, Wolf and Sheeson isn't beyond the uh, the realm of possibility. Sarnen is definitely in the mix, as is Brienne's. You see, there's 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 plenty of Plenty of delivery points, so I could do... I'd, I might be about to uh, delete this bit of road again. Just just saying. Mm, street type. New city. New city? No, side streets. I don't need one of those. New city on the main street is significantly thinner than that that is, uh, that is next to it. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, two bay drive through. Love it. All right, choices, choices, choices. Truck station with four large terminals. That's uh, that one's interesting enough. Let's uh, let's put one of those in here, and we'll 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 smack that in as close as we can get to uh, to the airport compound, which appears to be we can. Oh no, don't no, see it's the same collision in very small letters. So if I plunk that in there. Right, and then I could plunk another one uh, over here as well, and then we can we can have two, or we could put them opposite each other. Did you check to see if that was in range of the airport? Asks Steve, commenter. No, I didn't, but I, I probably should have. No, that looks all right. That looks that looks uh, that looks quite pacey. Was the airport you placed for cargo? I'm certain it was. I'm certain it was. Yeah, you go. See, look, freight airport. Yeah, you doubters. Uh, right, okay, so we've got two of those chaps set up, which is good. It's the starting of a, a nice commercial district. Uh, and then we'll... Uh, uh, extra large street. Might not be the worst idea you've ever had. Uh, what have we got here? Extra large street, uh, slower limit. One lane of oncoming. Dirt track. Uh... This is a, uh, a plaster veg. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. What else have we got for me? Tarway. No motor vehicles. Oh, well, that's that's not what we want at all. Come on, I've, I've, you know I'm I'm experimenting with the uh, with the dangerous uh, options that we've got going on here. Automobile road, guard center in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now I think we get trucks that are capable of a hundred if we haven't got them already. I can't remember if. Uh, if we've already got them or not, to be honest, I, it, it's it's looking decidedly like asphalt country road, asphalt country road, asphalt country road, asphalt country down, country road asphalt cobbled country road, asphalt. Let's uh, let's let's make it modern, uh, right? That's not going to be that's not going to be wide enough. We're going to need wider than that. Four lane. Uh, and it will allow 300 kilometers an hour top speed on that. Because uh, cause why the heck not? You know, some kind of electro uh, futurist coaches and trucks can run up and down there. Uh, right, okay, yep, we'll smack that onto this. And uh, let's... Uh, now, do I want to... Res I'm, I think there's going to be a lot of bulldozing involved in, in, uh, in adding rail anywhere near here but it is uh, put it on my uh, on my to-do list so there's there's the potential for reshaping out here in the future a roundabout in there would have been nice and and to be honest this safety barrier here is uh, is not exactly doing uh, the job that it was hired to do uh, let's replace that with a is, is that gonna look awful 
No, you've still you've still got a safety barrier. What if I what if I uh, get rid of this? There you go. Yeah, that's that looks more suitable for a kind of merging situation. Uh, we'll we'll see how that plays out, but hopefully there won't be a, a, a horrific uh, road traffic accident along the way. Uh, now we're currently not using this this road here, but if I my intention is to deliver out to. Uh, further flung places then getting that set up with some uh, uh, some you know relatively high speed good stuff reflector posts well, that sounds like fun what's this extra large country road let's have a look at it Oop, uh, overshot there it's not that dramatic is it well this stuff reflector posts like you said oh yellow lines for extra speed probably uh what about you cobbled I, I think we're beyond cobbles at this stage uh let's go with let's go with this stuff uh yes all right good now i've got a notion here uh whereby we will uh, we'll turn this into some kind of some kind of you know coastal riverside trucking route uh, that I can just go crazy with a tree gun later on and it will look amazing as a result. Now, bend it around the corner a bit. I might even put a road down to the, uh, down to this dock house. Right, okay, so, uh, so coming up on Brienne's, do I want to get rid of this, this old dirt track here and, uh, connect up? I surely do. Uh, yeah. Let's get rid of as much of that as we need to, which is, you know, all of it, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll fire that in up there. One hundred and sixty-four thousand. Well, I didn't say it was going to be cheap, which is just as well because I would have never been able to forecast such things. Uh, let's now run this, and uh, let's go medium with that. You'll have to be you'll have to be pretty desperate to want to go up there. Uh, and we also need a connection here as well, but I think we'll uh, we'll use something a little bit more modern for that. Uh, what are you? You're just highway with with the reflecty posts. So let's let's slip that in there. How's that doing junction wise? Again, you're going to have a tough tough time crossing over onto the uh, onto the opposing side. So uh, let's see if we can't fix that. And we can. Uh, right, what have I missed? Because I've obviously missed... Oh, yeah, we haven't done the last bit. Uh, right. You, onto there. No. I want you to do it in a delightful fashion. You know, some kind of initial sort of snaky bit there, followed by that, will look quite good. Now, it's not going to be as quick as going in a straight line, but uh, I think your, your long-serving and uh, uh, tired, uh, lamenting truck driver is really going to appreciate the extra effort that we've put in to, uh, to ensure that the view's nice. Uh, if you happen to be a long-serving uh, truck driver, perhaps you could confirm that a, that a nice route is, is better to drive. Uh, okay, now, I'm also going to want to... Uh, Upgrade this road to give my trucks kind of priority uh, rather than these, you know, wretched AI folk who are just... I mean, look at this wiggly rubbish. Oh, get out of it. I oh, know, I only just built that bit. Oh, there's one of my trucks on there. All right, well, let's see if he fancies going over here. I'll spend 33 grand to get him out of the way. Yeah, yeah, back it up. Keep backing it up. There we are. Keep going with that as well. All right, good. Okay, now uh, I'm going to want a slightly more direct route, I think, than the uh, than the one that is prescribed. Uh, let's let's also murderate those, and then we'll. You now you've you've got a different road type. How's that possible? What were you using before? I was pretty sure certain I was using this. Oh, it's because we're on extra large. Back it down to large again. Is that the, is that the stuff? Or is, no, it's not that one. Well, that's close, but it's not exactly the same. 
Or is that only because it's perspective at the moment? Ah, there you go. That's the one. That's what I was using. Uh, right, we'll keep going. With yes, because I decided that uh, trucks whistling down here at 300 kilometers an hour was a good thing. Where are we going with this? We're going this way. All right, okay. And then, steady on. We'll hook it up onto there, because there appears to, there appear to be some options. Actually, I don't want it like that. I want it, uh, I want, no, I want to do a straight line in. And then you've, you've left yourself a swan neck. Yeah, look. Uh, do that, do this, do that. Alright, stick that on there. And then obviously we're going to have to do some, uh, some, some conversion to make that one work as well. Uh, large country road, please. Well, not all of it, obviously. You know, we don't, let's not go mad. There you go. How's that? That's good. That's good. All right. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll also convert that to the same stuff because that would make sense. There we are. Everybody's now happy apart from this bit, which I need to do this. And my goodness me, would you look at that for a slope? Come on, get rid of. We don't need to. Just 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 do a little bit. Do as much as you feel is, is uh, utterly necessary. Right, okay, that's in dire need of a bit of smoothing. Um, but uh, but we'd, we'll worry about that at a later date. Uh, for now, we've got... Right, what does that give us? That gives us Luzerne, it gives us the docks, it gives us uh, stands, although not on a most efficient route. Uh, but we also score Briennes, and if I, if I pop a suitable bridge over there, it will also give us Sarnen. Because my aim here is to fling a heck of a lot of planes up and down here. Uh, right, over you go. I'm going to take you all the way up to all this bit of road here. There we are, 1.1 million. Uh, there's there's my uh, rather large number of, of road-based choices. Now, it looks like we can snake a ship under the middle, but if we were to uh, elevate, I mean, firstly, it won't let us. But those pillars look like they're going to get in the way of shipping. Still looks like there's a route through. What do you think? I, I think there's a route through there. And, and the price has gone up as a result. Actually, I think the price is based on the... Uh, uh, on the, the the change in materials, I mean that's that's definitely the way to go. Although we have turned this into a into a bit of a messy junction. All right, let's take it and see what happens. I mean, if it comes down to it, I'll spend the extra money and uh, and do this bridge better. Uh, but uh, but right now that one looks that one looks pretty good. Okay, right now that has also bought me Sarnen. So we got brands, we got Sarnen, we have got all sorts. Uh, we'll do Brienz and Sarnen from this side. Uh, so we'll do uh, Stans transfer. This is going to be uh, Stans uh, Brienz. Actually, we might have to use the short codes Brien Sar Hub. Right? Uh, I'd like to call it like Air Freight Hub or something like that, uh, but I can't. Uh, Stans, and this is going to be what are we talking here? Luzerne Stans. This is this is going to work perfectly. Uh, LZN LZN uh, STN hub. That's that's purely so that I can uh, stands west stands freight. Uh, so purely so that I know what the heck's going on when I come to set these up a little bit later. Stand stand stands yes. Uh, freight yes probably. Uh, stands international. Mm. Nice. Logistics would be lovely. Uh, lo logistics. Uh, close, but uh, no spelling B championship cup for you. Uh, right, good. There we are. Hooray. Um, now then, we just need to get it rolling. There's a weakness in this route that, I, that has not uh, eluded me. Um, and that is that I'm only hauling goods in one direction. Hmm. Now, I could possibly offset that by pulling in grain. 
Uh, but that, I mean, that's really going to set the, the the pigs amongst the uh, the cutlery, uh, because uh, I, I I don't know what I'll do with grain at the other end. I mean, I could set up another food train, but to be honest, we're not short on food in the first place. Um, what else have we got? Oh no, look! Oh dear. Day. See, this is down. Oh, this is going to make for a, a complete hellish disaster of a notion. With planks and steel, we can make goods, uh, and if we can make goods, we can ship those all over the place. That's another. That's another type of good that we could be operating. All right. Let's see, let's call that long term project, because uh, it sure is it sure is not something I'm going to be able to deal with quickly. Right. We've got four towns, so we'll have four routes. Oh crumbs! This this. You know how I was talking about potentially dealing with the red routes and making them pros possible. Well, I'm about to introduce some more red routes. Uh, right, line four. You are going to be uh, whatever this is. Now, where's my goods truck stop? There we are. Right there. Okay. Well, that was that was easy. Uh, so this is going to be uh, S A R hub. Delivery. Delivery! Uh, no, uh, rather rather too many Ys going on there. Okay, right, that's one. Stick it over there. Oh, actually, we're going to need another one, aren't we? Let me I'll stick that out there somewhere. Uh, and then also coming out here is going to be... Uh, there's already a lot going on there. Why is there food here that is waiting to be transported somewhere? Surely it should be consumed by the local people. Well, I don't know. Uh, anyway, right, that's going to be um, BRI. Or no, we use do, no, we use BRI. BRZ would have been a much more sexy short-term kind of name and deal thing there, but uh, so be it. Right, okay, that's that side done. Uh, now we need to go there and do the other one. Right, and. Uh, Whatever town this is. I'm going to say this is Luzerne. There you go. Quite the. Yeah, it's, it's relatively straightforward. I'm not even checking to see if there's demand. If there's demand, this will work. Uh, if there isn't, uh, then uh, business as usual. Uh, LZN hub delivery. See how casually I just dropped that in as a Z rather than a Z. Oh, yeah. I'm a true multilinguist. And then, oh, hold on, I'm going to need another one. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I'm not even joking. Not even kidding. Uh, one of those. And uh, this is, station types don't match. No, they don't, you're right. Uh, get rid of that. Plonk it on this. Now, the fact that there's food being dropped off here might result in a, a, a completely ridiculous situation where I end up taking uh, food back by plane to where the, the major food hub is. Um, but that will be because it has identified um, some, some basic demand for, for foreign foods that, uh, that we, can, we can fly around. Uh, but uh, anyway, this is hub uh, port delivery. Okay, right, good. Next, uh, user. You're going to go from there over to whatever we've got. Oh, I, I've done Luzerne. We want just stands regular. Stands are going. You know, I'm I'm kind of putting up all of these uh, these chaps that you're you're saddling us with. Would you mind uh, furnish me with some of the goodies? Certainly, have some goodies. Uh, STN hub delivery. Right, and then for my last trick. Uh, we need to go from this one, and this is where we're going to find out how much mountain I have to uh, to. Oh, look at all of that! Oh my goodness me! Could you not? Oh, and it. Oh, it's worse than that. It's going to go straight through this town, which may cease to exist in the near future. The rest of this looks plausible, I suppose. Um, there's not a lot I can do about it. But then we're going to, yeah, we're going to fly through through this mountainside. 
Now, what would be terrific is if the root was such that, uh, that but through, after a bit of carving, we could have another bridge that goes over an air route. Huh? Yeah? Ah? Uh, oh, yeah. Hold on. This appears to be going to Thun Bus and Tram Station. Please hold. Uh, why are you called Thun Bus and Tram Station? I'll tell you what you're not, is you're not a tram station. You are, in fact, is that a tram station? That could be a tram station, you know. But anyway, what you're not is a tram station. What you are instead is you are... Uh, Hold on. No, 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 wait. No, this whole thing is referred to as a tram station. It's ridiculous. Um, uh, we're going to call this uh, uh, ch ch uh, logistical, uh, logistical uh, freight uh, nerve center. Because that, you know, that makes it sound really quite something. Uh, right, splendid. There you go. We are now going from Stans International Logistics to the Logistical Freight Nerve Center. Four. I mean, you know, it sounds like the Thunderbirds are arriving or some such. Uh, and we will call this uh, International uh, National Freight Over Investment. Good. Now then, need to buy some planes and things. Uh, let's get trucks in motion first, as you all know already because you've, you've paid attention. Uh, by getting the tail end of your route working first, it means that the uh, the front side of the route works with uh, with far less hassle. We'll even use the gas station again, because if nothing else, that will generate a little bit of demand for fuel. Uh, right there would be absolutely dandy. Right, magic. Uh, right, Sarnen, how far away is that? It's a bit of a it's a bit of a trek, uh, not a, not the biggest trek we have ahead of us, but it's uh, trek esque. We're going to be using the Peterbilt because why wouldn't you? And we'll take uh, four to uh, to get things rolling. And you are on Sar Hub delivery, yes, Sar. Huh? See? Hmm? Yeah. Jokes, allegedly. Uh, vehicles. Let's paint them a colour. Uh, the, the, uh, the reason I'm painting them a colour is because the colour coding uh, down at the shuttle worked really well. I, I, you know, it allowed you to see the kind of density that you'd got going on for stuff. And I am very dense. Uh, right, more Peterbilts. Uh, Brienne's, I think, is flipping miles away. So we'll go, with, uh, we'll go with eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I know, you think I've lost my mind. Um, and maybe I have... Uh, B R I B yes R mm, hub delivery terrific. Uh, yep, you're done. L Z N is just there. That's another four. Hold on, one, two, three, four. I've got to buy some planes in a minute. I'll have. I'm sure I'll have the money. Uh, L Z N hub delivery. Yep, good. And you're done. Call it back up again. We're not done with this yet. Uh, S T N hub port delivery. Right. We'll put two on that which is probably overkill, but I do want it to have a, a, an opportunity to be successful. So, you know, we'll we'll try it out and see where it gets us. STN hub port thingamajig. Hub port, right. Uh, what you can't say is that this is dull, right? You know, you, you're, you're itching to see this work. So am I. Uh, and then stands as the, uh, as the final component here and we'll run uh, it's not very far through at all. Three will do nicely. S T N hub, as you were, delivery. Now, what you'll notice is that I didn't bother changing the colours on anything apart from the first one because it slipped my mind. Right, let's uh, let's get those chaps churning out. Right, where are you going? You're going to Luzerne. Right, Luzerne, you can be uh, green. Right, where are you going? You're going to Stan's hub. Quite like this purple. You can be purple. I haven't really got a purple. I have like a really dark pink. Good. You, Brienne's. Okay. You can go uh, a different color. You, you can be a, 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 a teal. Which I think. Oh, look at this. It's uh, Everything's confused already. And in your Stan's Hub port effort, uh, you'll be blue. 
Alright, I think that's everyone. I think everyone has a colour, and a colour has everyone. Oh, yeah, this, this, uh, this trucking system is, of course, working flawlessly. Uh, but I'm, uh, I'm relatively confident that, uh, that once this is established, we will not have... You're driving through those parking bays there, young man. That's not what we had in mind. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat confident that once this is uh, operational, we won't be snarling up traffic quite as horrendously as we are doing currently. Yes, everything's moving. All right, everything's moving. What's going on over there? That last truck seemed to pull some kind. Yeah, he's pulled a maneuver. I think that's because no, he's going up there. That's his plan. And of course, while this is all snarled up, it's also helping the uh, the queuing situation just a smidge. Uh, right. Uh, let me buy some aircraft. Now, as you well know, uh, unless this has changed, in which case, please do inform me in those there comments. Uh, you do need to run uh, a, a Yunkers in order for the thing to kick off. The problem you've got here is that you've got two different Yunkers to choose from. I'm going to say it's this one is the one you need. Uh, so we'll buy one of those and we'll stick it on the International Freight Over Investment Line. And then, what's going to be our our, uh, our main event uh, transport freighter? I think it's going to be the DC-4, uh, has to be said. Uh, oh, I'll just show you the planes we've got available. So we've got a couple of Tupolevs here, which I'd quite like to put into service. Just not on this map, as you know already. Uh, and and I, I got the Stratoliner, the, the, the Boeing 307, because that's another beautiful plane. But we're going to stick with the DC-3 um, as, our, as our passenger plane of choice, which means that the DC-4 is clearly the way to go. Uh, let's buy a few of those. How much are they? Two million a throw. Oh, this is, this is exactly what I should have been spending my money on. Uh, let's go for one, yeah, two, three, four, yeah, five. Can I get another one? What are we talking? Yeah, yeah. And I think I have definitely got a screw loose. Uh, right, let's get those rolling, and then I'll I'll buy some more. There you go. I've got enough for another two. Now the reason I'm buying so many of these is uh, I'm going to need them. Uh, given the number of trucks that I've just deployed, uh, I'm going to need as many planes as I have trucks. Okay. Uh, in today's episode of I haven't fully thought this through. Um, uh, I've, I, I have a demand for, for planes that, uh, that, frankly, I'm not entirely sure I can, uh, I can fulfill. Now, if I, was, if I were to use uh, 757s, we'd have no problem. Even a 737 carrying 21, but the DC-4 only carries 15. But we're going to... No, no, hold on, not enough money. Well, that's something I should get used to seeing, I think. Yeah, yeah, we will ride, we'll, we'll ride on board with one in a sec. I want to buy two more, um, which is, you know, utter folly. Uh, but, uh, you know, we can always sell them if it doesn't work uh, and then rethink it. Maybe just run, uh, you know, a hundred Yunkers. How much does this cost? 300 grand a year. How much does that cost a year? 30 grand. We should just run th like a hundred Yunkers. And it'd be just like a, an air force constantly in motion. That could be fun. Yes, it could. Uh, that, that, that would definitely be a sight to behold. Come on, give me, give me a, give me another plane. Give me another plane, and I can, I can, uh, I can wrap this up, and we can all wait to see exactly what happens in the next episode. There we go. There's one, and there, there's just a little bit more cash. There's two. Right. Get on there. Okay, right now then, let's uh, let's ride up. Here we go. He's about ready for takeoff. Uh, now we aren't going. <laughs> it's, already, it's already looking like we're on some kind of mission. Um, now brace yourselves for uh, an immersion-breaking flight through the mountain, but it's uh, it's got to be done. Uh, I will no costs it again to uh, to carve the mountain into a suitable shape if we have to. Uh, it is this route that leads us uh, mountain wood, uh, so we'll we'll just find out. 130 kilometres an hour is is not uh, blistering speed. Um, a 
little faster would be beneficial if we are to uh, if we are to really maximise what pitiful profits we make from this. Okay, levelling out. Come on, where are we going? Yep, that's good. North of 180 is good. North of 200, I approve. Uh, that'll be the autosave kicking in. Nobody panic, least of all me. Come on. In your entire... It looks like the plane ahead of us actually didn't fly through the mountain. Although now it looks like disaster is striking. Yep, there he goes through the mountain. Look, I mean, it's, it's almost like he made a beeline for it. Uh, anyway, 365 kilometers an hour is where we topped out. Uh, it's because we're coming in on approach. Okay, so it's going to be a minor piece of reshaping, which we can probably do just by lowering the side here. It might not end up looking quite as... Uh, um, uh, quite as uh, horrendously scarred as the, the other end of proceedings. We're coming in over the oil line, which is fun. And that's the, uh, that's the iron ore train, which is running mostly empty, which is, you know, that's good to see. And then, uh, and then touchdown. And there's the little Yunkers waiting at the front of the queue. Terrific. Okay, good. Right. A new vehicle is available. Wow, new vehicles. They come, they go. Uh, right, now, this is this is going to fox the heck out of, of whatever it is I've got going on at the moment, because they're going to go, you want us to do what with this now? Uh, now, I'm pretty certain that they're going to use the line. Uh, the, the, the question is, is purely, how do we feel about happy yellow? Well, happy yellow is very happy. Uh... Oh, moody red. Yeah, see, that's that's far more regal. Let's go get a... Oh, look at it. Yeah, okay. There you see, look. You'll, okay, you're going to recognise this. This is going to be the thumbnail. Planes everywhere. All of them queuing. Wunderbar. As the, I don't know what manoeuvre he's pulling, but it's aggressive. Uh, there's a train in the background. Look, trains uh, at the, the, the hub next to it. Yeah, this is, this is living. Uh, now then, uh, all we really need out of this is uh, for anything to deliver to here. Anything at all. Because if it doesn't start doing so, and I've got enough stuff coming in and out that we should do, that, that should happen. Because um, if it doesn't, then that's going to that's gonna pose quite the problem. Also, I wonder how much of this uh, airfield we're going to use for uh, for lining up planes who need to taxi, or whether this is going to jam the whole thing up. And are we keeping... Oh, I, we're I, almost certainly keeping someone in a holding pattern right now. Let's, uh, let's keep an eye on this chap. That's, ah, this will be the fellow who was pulling uh, aggressive circling manoeuvres. Now, I'm pretty sure that the sky is going to be large enough to, to occupy the however many planes that I foolishly slung up here. Uh, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Anyway, there I so fool, look, a, a, full, a fully packed episode there of, of massive levels of, uh, of upgrade. Uh, the question is going to be whether I'm going to uh, sell all these planes again in the near future. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. I'm going to find a good place to sit so that we can watch planes doing their thing. This is a good place to sit. Um, uh, chuck a like at this one if you enjoyed it. Uh, in the next episode, we will find out uh, exactly how uh, foolish this was. And uh, here it comes. Look, this is, this is a great place to sit. There's the, there's the ore train again. I should, have done, I should have done that first, because that would have made some more money. Um, in fact, I should have done anything other than this first, because any of it would have made more money. It looks like the queuing's working anyway. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already, otherwise you'll, you'll miss out on, uh, on, on the flight of the, uh, the, the freight liners. Off you go, and uh, I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio!